Welcome to changing your air cleaner's media today. We're gonna need three things. We're gonna need the box where the new media is inside. When you purchase these through us, we'll typically leave them in the attic or unless you specify them otherwise, we'll give them to you. You're gonna have four medias in here when you first buy it. So right now there's only three because we've already put in one. We're gonna use a little needle nose, maybe, and our little brush. So first things first, we're gonna go in your attic. We're gonna look for the filter rack, which would be right here in this case. Over here, you have a little screw top. We're gonna to unscrew this. I'm gonna put it right here so we don't lose it. This box should just open right here. And you'll notice on the bottom, there's a little red LED light. That light signifies that there's power going to your air ranger and that everything should be working right. So first things first, we're gonna unplug it. The plug is very similar like a laptop charger. So we're gonna unplug that. This is very important that this tip doesn't touch any metal. If it touches, I'm gonna put it right down there where it's the only, the only thing you could touch is a little wood. A lot of times homeowners touch metal with it, they end up blowing a fuse and then the system doesn't run and then we get to go have a, a visit with them. So right now, this is your air ranger. We're gonna have to get it out. Typically I start from the, the top, trying to shimmy it out a little bit. And this is where the needle nose come into play. So I'm gonna grab it like this. I'm just gonna pull it out. All right, there we go. Filter comes out. The easiest way to check if it's clean or not, put it against the light. As you can tell, it's pretty dirty. So this filter, it's time to go. There's gonna be two tabs on it. One here and one here. This comes off. So we open it like that. This one goes out, we'll throw it in the trash. Now, if you look at the rack itself, sometimes there's a little dust bunnies on it, like right there. That's where we're gonna take our trusted brush. We're just gonna brush it off. Get all that extra dust that's on it, get it nice and off. Doing this, once a month, meaning by just brushing it off, will get you also a longer lifetime of that filter. Typically the filter will last you about four to six months, depending on the usage. The more you use your AC or heater, obviously the less the filter will last. The more excitement that happens in your house, the dirtier the, house, the filter will get too. So obviously every house is different. All right, we have nice and clean. We're gonna get our media. So we'll get it right here. You can leave this in the attic as long as in the box, they're not gonna get dirty, they're not gonna get dusty, moldy, or anything like that. One important thing that we're gonna focus on is that rectangle right there. And I'll show you why right here in a minute. So if you look at the filter itself, the rectangle is gonna be on one side, and it's also gonna be off to one side. It's more to the right on this side versus to the left. So this is very important for when we place it inside the air ranger itself. So if you look at the air ranger itself, you'll see that there is a little black doohickey with a little white circle on the other side. This black doohickey is what needs to be sandwiched or will sandwich basically that rectangle that I just showed you. So let's see how to do it. So I'm gonna purposely put it in the wrong ones. Again, this is not the right way, just so that you kind of see what unfortunately we see too often. So you see here how that rectangle is now between the plastic dot and the doohickey, that is not good. If you put it in like this, all you have is a regular filter with no electricity running through it. So you're basically paying a lot of money 
for a very, very basic store-bought filter. So let's see how you do it right. Typically what I do is I put it on the bottom so that it just closes all the gaps. Close it up. So now we have this tab closed, that tab closed, and if we look, that square right there is being connected by that little plug. So I'll double check if there's any gaps. Big old gap on the bottom. Not gonna work. All right, take the filter back out and let's do it again. Let's look at it again. We moved it up a little bit, so that's still nice and right in the center of it. No gap, no gap, no gap, no gap on the top too, so we're good to go. We'll put it back in there, put it back in. There we go, all the way. Take your little plug, plug it back in. All right, before you're done, double check that that light's back on. That tells you that there's power going to your power head and the air ranger itself. Close your little box. Find the screw that you didn't lose. Put it back here. Now a lot of thermostats will allow you to put a reminder for the filter. If you, if you have that and it's gone off, make sure you reset it. Don't forget your lead and lows and your brush. What I typically do is these are pretty cheap. So I always leave one in my, my unit and I will leave my brush right here. I'll make a mental note of how many more filters I have. In this case, I have two more. So the next time an on-time expert technician is gonna be out, he can change it for me and I can also get a new box from him.